Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about 5 reactions. And I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my second reaction, the track is called Summer Summer. This is my first ever experience of these two particular artists. So I hope I get their names right. So um, the, the first one, is it Hi Lolan? And the and the second artist is um, Dasum. So I think it's Hi Olin or Yolin or Hi Yolin. Let me know about that. I'm I, I'm not really confident in actually pronouncing um, Hi Yolin, but um, Dasum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The track is once again is called Summer or Summer. So I'm looking forward to that. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And what I've done is simplified it for you. I've broken it down into various musical categories. So once you go into those particular categories, just remember these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Right. Shall we go straight into my second reaction of today, shall we? So this is um, Hollis, um Heidelin and Damsum and Adasum with su Summer or Summer. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? So this has got this kind of electric flavor to it. And you can't hold on to the beach, can you? Or beach song. stop it right there so this is as um, portrayed as the girl next door um, kind of video that approachable girls that's going to be having a, a lovely summer time going wherever they want to do and do whatever they want to do they are absolutely gorgeous beautiful um, so let's get the elephant out of the room on that one um, and they can sing as well normally what you do get when you get somebody that's really 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 beautiful and they're like very flamboyant flirtatious and all that stuff within the music videos they just got an okay voice you know a voice that's okay and you can quite easily tell that they're there or being signed because how beautiful they are and they've got an okay voice but their body and their beauty sells rather than their vocals on this point what i'm just seeing right there they both got vocals they both can sing so that is brilliant and, and it's not one of those, so I'm not going to take this music video um, to, uh, you know, you can take a, a certain music, music videos with a pinch of salt. Say, so, okay, yeah, it's a fun, vibing song and good video, um, and, but that's it. 
I'm looking now at an all-rounder, a perfect video. Their, their dress sense and fashion-wise, they're good, they're beautiful, and they can sing. So, is this song going to be catchy? A song that's going to be bringing my head as soon as I finish um, watching this. Once again, I do not put the subtitles, um, subtitles on. I find it very, very distracting. I will put the subtitles on on my third and fourth time that I'm listening to this track. Um, but on my first experience and reacting to it, I never put subtitles on. I find it way too distracting. And, you know, your, your eyes is moving about on loads of other different things and, and you've got to concentrate on the word popping up and down. So, no, that's not me. I'm going to go back just a little bit. About here, I say. I think there'll be some kind of fusion. Yeah, you are beautiful. Stop it there, and this is the last time I pause. I, pro I promise you, this has got so much different kind of fun factor within this video music video. It really has. Like I said, these are the approachable girls, the girl next door, and that's what I'm I'm looking at as um, what they're trying to be portrayed in this music video. The girls that just want to have fun, um, your girly girls. Um, it's your typical girls, but when you're looking at it, is it though? Or are they just ab are they above average girls? And for me, they're above average girls. These are the girls that you wish that you could do, um, do what they are doing. You know that kind of thing. So I feel that they are above average girls. Um, to some sort of extent, these are the girls next doors. But it depends on what kind of level you are um, on middle class, working class, or damn out rich. And for me. They are portraying themselves as two rich girls um, in here um, that um, has got the, old, got the world above them and um, got the world in, in front of them. And when I say two rich girls, I don't mean it in any kind of conceding way because everybody, um, everybody strives to become successful. And if your parents are successful, of course you're going to bleed it onto your children and want to make sure that your children are successful and your children will reap the benefits of, your, um, of what you sow. It's simple. So if your family's a millionaire, then your children should reap the benefits. I would love my, uh, my parents to be rich, a millionaire and for me to buy a Ferrari by the time when I was 18. You know, something like that. And someone's got to live that dream. It really have. And I just hope that these two girls are living the dreams. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm saying this is what's in the video, what they portray. In real life, they could be far further from the truth. They could be two, two of the most hardworking, um, down-to-earth um, girls that you've ever, ever seen. But I'm saying what they're trying to act in this a particular move. Um, uh, uh, video is that a it's summertime and we're ready for it we're ready to travel we're ready to have fun and um you know we've done our studies with this is our um gap year or whatever have you have you but we're just gonna have fun and we can't wait to meet you guys you know it's that kind of um feeling that i'm, I'm getting from this i don't get me wrong it is a lovely track very very catchy i can see a, a number here a number of people um singing this song I'm going to go back just a little bit.
Also erzähl dir, wie ich jetzt die Kugel aus. Hat mich gefreut. So this was Summer or Summer, number one, and the name is um, Hyalon and Dyson and Dasum. I, like I said, I'm not 100% um, comfortable in saying the names because I feel that I'm, I'm getting it wrong. It's as simple as that. This track, catchy as anything. I can see a whole bunch of girls singing this on the beach and getting behind it. I love the, um, I said, the girl... Girl meets girl, girls having fun, we go out and plan our, our summer. We go to this um, festival, this club. You know, it's, it's all about um, the summertime is, is started and I haven't got nothing but have to have fun. And it's a certain age group. Someone that's, you know, like I said, the money situation is taken care of and um, they've got all their, their grades, parents are happy. Um, no, go out and have fun that feeling and everybody can remember that and can be jealous of that to be fair as well because those were the brilliant days um before you had to really 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 grow up and start living um the life of um what we're in right about now so this looking at that video just sort of like gives you sort of like a visual release like ah. Oh, I remember that or oh I wish I was there or I I wish there was them indeed um beautiful girls absolutely amazing girls and and like I said it's very um it is kind of rare that you get an absolutely beautiful girls that can actually sing and there was rapping as well so there's an all rap I wonder you know what I'm they're looking like for me these two girls can easily fit into some kind of daytime um entertaining um show and i think that that's where they, they just by looking at them they belong in that kind of entertaining world not only just for singing uh, but singing acting entertainment they can give you the whole the whole you know the whole shebang so to speak they really 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 can and it's very like once again it's very rare to get an all-rounder sometimes you just get the uh, i'm very much i don't know if they, they wrote the song um, or not, um, I don't know how much their participation in this song is, rather than just singing it and being in it. Um, it'd be brilliant if they did write it. Um, but I'm seeing so much more within these two girls. I see so much more potential um, if they haven't reached that feat. Um, if they haven't reached that feat already, like I said I see them in the in the limelight of TV, um, a TV show, um, whether it be a family entertainment or children entertainment or some kind of. But it'll be some kind of entertainment show. I see them in acting. Um, in some kind of um, a soap drama um, element. Uh, you know, there's so much things that you can see within these girls that you can easily say that the world is their oyster. And for that reason, I salute you. Absolutely amazing track. I'm now going to go back and put the subtitles on. <laughs>